This film study is going to be a look at the show that Tank Dell put on in Thursday night's preseason game against the Patriots. I think the Texans have an underrated wide receiver group with Nico Collins, Robert Woods, Noah Brown. They drafted Dell, Xavier Hutchinson. They get John Mechie the third back or John Michi the third. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that name correctly. As far as that group goes, I'm going to liken Tank Dell to an NBA six man who comes off the bench and he's just instant offense. He just comes in to score. That's what I'm seeing out of Tank Dell just through the limited amount of film that we have of him in one game, but I think he played a lot of snaps, actually. I'm showing my age here with my comparison, calling him the microwave. Uh, that harkens back to the early 90s Detroit Pistons teams that won two championships. Vinny Johnson came off the bench to score uh, because I think Tank Dell has an impact quick as soon as he comes in the game. Now, I guess his first target really didn't work out so well for the Texans, C.J. Stroud's interception, but even on that play, Tank Dell's suddenness gets Jack Jones to um, to fall to the ground. The safety just makes a nice play and, and basically reads C.J. Stroud's eyes. But let's go through a series of plays and take a look at some of the film. You guys let me know what you think in the comment section. All right, so in this slot here, you're going to have a little slant from the bottom side. He showed this route three or four times, I think. Ball hits him in stride, and he's looking to score. Home run hitter. There's no doubt about his belief. He believes that he's going to either make people miss or just run away from him. And, I mean, you can't blame him. He's done this his entire life, probably scored hundreds of touchdowns. Earlier um, in the game, he had had two passes, two examples of this pass being thrown, and it was low, didn't hit him in stride, didn't give him a chance to attack. The, to attack. All right, on the same uh, possession, a mesh concept. He's at the top of the screen here. It's man, but Jack Jones is going to release him underneath. And then after he catches the ball, check out this slight change of speed that almost helps Tank Dell turn the corner. It's going to happen right now. This little stutter step kind of reminds me of Tavon Austin with that change of speed where he can go from like 100 or to down to 88 and then back up to 100 all in the matter of like two steps, which doesn't sound realistic. You're going to get a, a, essentially a pick by the tight end here. And then down into the boundary, going underneath is Tank Dell. And Jack Jones, like I said, releases him. Tank Dell almost gets around the corner here. And you got pursuing guys, but you can see that there's the speed here to get the corner, either make people miss or get an extra four or five yards out of things when you know most other players are not. All right, this is his actual first target. I think down here at the bottom of the screen, he's going to get Jack Jones to fall down, and then this safety is going to get the interception. C.J. Stroud, you know, has been talked about at this point a lot. I think it's two man by the Patriots, really. So man and then two safeties. I might be wrong there, but but Stroud does stare Dell down. Don't get me wrong. The ball's a little late. When I first saw this, I first saw this, I thought, you know, was was Dell's route supposed to be? two or three yards shorter and didn't need to come back to the ball a little bit. I think the ball is just late. Um, Stroud stares him down, like I said, and kind of kind of double pump, safety jumps it. It's, it's an easy interception that they're lucky wasn't a pick six. But you can understand why C.J. Stroud would be looking for Tank Dell early on. Apparently the guy's made a ton of plays in training camp against the Texans, and he certainly did against the T Patriots on Thursday night. So let's get back to some of the good film, I guess. Again, he's in the slot. Twin wing formation. Uh, Davis Mills had two of these that were low on a little slant or in cut by Dell. There's there's nothing to really protect Tank Dell from as far as the quarterback goes. Sometimes you want to throw it low to protect him from an inside out, maybe a linebacker or a safety that's going to be able to put a big hit on him. There's nothing to protect him from here. So I think this is just maybe he's underestimating Tank Dell's speed, which sounds crazy because they've been throwing balls to him for weeks at this point. Get him the ball in stride, and this guy's going to make plays and make people miss and put a lot of pressure on the defense, um, and he can go get it. All right, in the slot up top, and I think you're going to get pressure on Mills uh, right up the middle, I believe. Forces him to move off his spot. Uh, Dell is the guy who comes back to the football here. It ends up being a penalty on the, on the Texans, but he's the guy who's going to come back to the football in case you lost him. He's right up here on the sideline. And you can see the quarterback is scrambling, extending the play out to the edge. You'll get the end zone angle of this one, too, by the way. Great hands and body control, if you ask me. But he just makes this look easy. And when you get the end zone angle, maybe you'll get a little bit better view of it, of the body control. He's almost parallel to the ground um, as Davis Mills is escaping. Here's Dell. Here's another receiver for the Texans. And then the tight end, the guy who comes back and makes himself available is Tank Dell. 
Looks like he's done this 100 times before. Uh, scramble, drill, whatever you want to call it. He's off screen to our left. The offense is right. Same play, end zone angle. Showing you this one, uh, you can't see him, but you got pressure up the middle, like I said, and got a hold. And then showing you this just so you see the great body control. It's a little blurry on Tank Dell, but the body control is almost parallel to the ground You know, as he controls the football. It was ruled a catch for a 10-yard gain, but I think, like I said, you had a hold. All right, the end zone angle of another overthrow, and I think I'll show you the all 22 as well. Uh, Dell runs past Jack Jones on this one. I'm showing you the end zone angle first so you can see the separation here, and then you'll see it from the all 22 angle as well. Ball's thrown um, a little bit more towards the sideline than maybe Tank Dell was looking for. I'm sure that that's a missed opportunity that for those guys, at least when they are in the meeting room. So one-on-one -on -one up top, Jack Jones, Tank Dell. I mean, he's putting, you know, NFL DBs have received the memo. But they've gotten the email like this guy can run past you and you get a good idea of it here as well. There's a little bit more side separation, but still opportunity to get him the football. Even though he's a smaller receiver, you can see that the speed and the footwork is going to make him available and uh, make him something the defense got to worry about. A slant from up top of the screen, a play action concept designed to come back to the slant backside uh, to get him the ball on the move. And, and give him an opportunity to run after the catch. See the play action quick. It's not There's no real mesh between the quarterback and the running back. That's why I say this is a, a designed play to come back to Tank Dell up top. When I say there's no mesh, what I mean is you got the play fake, and, and they never even come close to each other in terms of the running back on his path, and then the quarterback turning real quick to throw it to the backside. So they've either seen something with the Patriots, or this is just something they've got in the playbook to do. It's low. Tank Dell kind of respectfully lets Davis Mills um, uh, know that, that he wants the ball up high. And, and that up later on, the big throw, the big catch that he had for like 24 yards, um, it was up high and did hit him in stride, so he was able to attack. All right, slot to the defense's left. Same concept pretty much in terms of the route. Um, open area into the middle of the field. I've already showed you this play. He believes, and, and there's no hesitation at all. Once he clears the second level defenders, here, he believes he's going to take it to the house. This is a guy who, like I said, probably scored a couple hundred touchdowns in his life, and he believes in himself. You can see it, or, or I think I can at least. Let's put it that way. Uh, I think that guys like this who have scored hundreds of times in youth football, high school, street football, college, in training camp, they get the ball in an actual NFL game, and they believe they're just going to do the same thing they always have. Tank Dell looks like to me he's dangerous, and he will do so eventually. He did get one touchdown in this game on that ridiculous kind of bobbled second, third catch. End zone angle of the same play there. Look, I think he's a pure home run hitter. He took over this drive from that play. I think he had three catches in a row, all 22 in end zone angle of the same catch here from the left side. In, a little bit more contested, but he's in the slot to the left, which is where we're going to expect to see him often. Another little end cut complete. You can see he's going to lose guys and create space within the first five yards, and then either make himself available immediately for the short catch here, I think it's a second and ten, or try to burst upfield like he did on the route with Jack Jones, you know, where it was incomplete up the right sideline. Is he going to start for them? I mean, I don't characterize players as starters or whatever because he's going to be on the field. That's why I use the Vinnie Johnson six-man comparison. Because I don't look at start, and some, even the, some of the stats services, they say, you know, game started. Like, who cares? He play, If he plays 50 snaps, he's on the field, he's dangerous, he's going to provide a, th a threat to the defense, and they're going to have design plays to get him the football, kind of like this one. When I say design plays, this is just mesh with the running back running a wheel. And normally on mesh, you're getting, you know, two drags. And I've always contended that the area of the field that's open almost all the time is the drag coming from the opposite side of the running back. So the running back on this wheel path, if you ask me, is going to leave all this space open here. And that's just always been something that I feel like conceptually is available because you can see the running back takes somebody with him, whether it's man, which I believe it is man in this case, or zone. The running back takes someone with him and then all that space just so you know, Jack Jones, the guy who is in man against Tank Dell, is here. He's released him underneath some kind of call in, in whatever their, their call is in their defense. 
to alert someone else to take him, and no one else does. So that's what I mean when I say design play. All right, the touchdown, I think, from the bottom of the screen. And look, look, his feet are sudden. Tough cover in tight space, even though he's a smaller guy. Able to win, you know, to either side. You've seen him win on a bunch of in cuts. Here you see him win with an inside juke and then back out towards the pylon. Catch it twice, or maybe he catches it three times. Goes down as a touchdown. He's going to be a guy who gets the football, and he's going to be a guy that teams are going to have to figure out how to tackle. End zone angle, same play, by the way. <clears throat> you don't get a great view of the catch. I'm not sure how team like if if this is a guy who gets the ball ten or twelve times in a game. It's going to be difficult to tackle him ten or twelve times. He just looks like that kind of player to me, based off of this one this one um instance of him in an NFL game. He looks like a guy who's extremely difficult to tackle, and the more times you get him the ball, the more of a chance there is he's going to score. He's just very difficult to tackle with the width of the field and the way that Houston is going to spread people out. I'm not worried about C.J. Stroud at all. I'm not. I think with the the complete offensive line out there and Damian Pierce on the field, the true weapon in this Texans offense, if you ask me, Damian Pierce, C.J. Stroud will be fine. There'll be less pressure on him, and there'll be more protection. You guys let me know what you think of the video. If you um, are as impressed by Tank Dell's performance as I was and so many others were on social media, he showed what, he can, he showed what he's capable of against quality NFL defensive backs, Jack Jones primarily. I think he had two picks last year, one of which he returned for a touchdown. And if you think other Texans fans would enjoy this video, this film study look at Tank Dell's performance in the first preseason game, then consider grabbing a link to this video, sharing it somewhere on social media to help this content get more reach.